the outdoors was my playpen. I, I love the butterflies, I guess, better than about anything. I still do, for that matter. And I'm rewarded by having a migration of monarchs come right here and spend the night. But when I, one of my earliest memories is chasing the little great purple hair streak around, and I never caught it, and t or chasing around any of the butterflies trying to catch them. And now I know you're not supposed to do that. It's not a good idea. And you may have noticed today quite a few butterflies fluttering around. That's my reward. In the north, in the northern tier of states and in Canada, as the days get a little bit shorter, nights get a little bit cooler, the monarchs begin to gather together waiting for a, a nice norther to bring them down. And after about the third one, they reach this far. And I think part of their attraction here is the goldenrod. And part of it, when they hit the, the water, they always spend stop anyway because, and sometimes they're so tired when they get here. They have to have a north wind because they can't fly um, against the wind and they have to have a little bit of help coming down because they're on their way to Mexico to spend the winter. And they spend the night here and if, if conditions are good, they go on the next day. But if it rains or if we have a, our norther went out in the Gulf and came back as a warm front with rain or wind, they have to spend another day or two until we have enough wind for them to go south. 